Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to find the square root of the given number. Let's say the user has given a number, say four, and you need to find the square root of this number. So what exactly is square root, guys? Square root is square root of the given number is when you divide a number by itself and if you are getting this result as 4 then that number is the square root of this number guys for example here number 4 is there if you find the square root of this 4 you will get the result as 2 because 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 and what about 9 what's the square root of the number 9 can you guess guys what is the square root of the number 9 it's none other than 3 because 3 into 3 is equal to 9. Now, if we have to write a Java program to find the square root of the given numbers. So, how to write? For that, let me explain. So, here we have some sample code. Inside the main method, I'll start writing the logic for finding the square root of the given number. First of all, we'll intake the number from the user case. For the number for which we need to find the square root, we'll intake from the user. For intaking the number from the user, we need to create first create an object for the scanner class like this. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. And uh, over the modern scanner, import the scanner from java.util. And uh, this constructor cannot be empty. So we have to provide system.in. That's it. And after that, uh, we need to ask the user to enter any number. Enter any number. Let's say the, the user is trying to enter the number four. Okay. If the user, after looking at this particular text in the output, if he enters four, we should print the square root as 2 because 2 into 2 is equal to 4, right? So like that. Now, this number given by user, we need to intake into our program. So for that, we need to copy this scanner object and uh, which method we have to call under this scanner object? Because this number is an integer, we have to call this next int. Next int command. This next int command will intake the integer inputs from the user. And once the input is captured from the user, we can store them into a variable. Uh, let's say number. Okay, number create local variable. Now let's write the logic. Okay, now let's write the logic for finding the square root of the given number. So before writing the logic here, guys, there is one more thing that we have to do. Once you receive all the inputs from the user and there are no other inputs to be taken from the user, then simply close this scanner object as part of the best practice. This is not mandatory, guys the best practice only uh, you, you can see that the warning message got resolved here for the scanner object once you close the object and also you will be saving this from the memory leak resource leak kind of thing fine now anyhow so we have been taking the input from the user and uh, now we need to write the logic for finding the square root of the given number how to find that system.out.println or we can say something like this this is a number given guys so if we have to find the square root of this number we have to use a predefined class known as math class. In Java, there is a predefined class known as math. Math dot, there is a command known as square root command, S-Q-R-T. Okay, square math dot S-Q-R-T. Okay, and simply provide this number for which you want to find a square root for. The square root command of math class will find the square root of the given number and it will return the double value. That's fine. So, Let's say the number is square root, right? SQ, square root of the number. SQRT of number. Square root of number. So create local variable, that's it. And uh, let's print it out. Okay, whatever the square root we found using the math dot uh, square root command, we can print it out here. Saying the square root of the given number is the square root of the given number is Simply print it out. Plus, that's it, square root. Now run this program. This program will ask the user to enter a number. Let's say if you have entered a number, let's say four, the square root of this number four should be printed. You see, the square root of the number got printed, right? Yes, that's it. And uh, let's give another number, guys. Uh, let's give another number uh, apart from four, let's give nine. What will be the square root, guys? Square root of this nine will be three, three point zero. Fine, done. Now again, run it. If you don't want this uh, decimal to be printed, you can do one more thing, guys. Uh, 
uh, you need to uh, put that in the circular brackets here and uh, also we can do one more thing that is uh, here we can type cast you say int here done and here you need to say int that's it and directly print it okay and you don't have to provide uh, circular brackets here you have type casted this mat dot square root here so now let's run this again see with four you should get two you see you got the integer value this time and again run this and this time give nine we'll get three so uh, what if uh, we give something like uh, like uh, 16 we'll get four so square root is four what what if we give something uh, which is not that much correct like 12 you see you are getting three because so three point something into three point something that's why we have to print in double guys if you print this particular thing in double right then you will understand why by default they have mentioned as double now you see this time you print it as double you will understand the result for 12 if you give that number as 12 the square root is square root of the given number is three point something if you multiply 3.4641 this number into by itself you'll get the number 12 guys that's the reason guys all the numbers will not get the integer values so sometimes what happens is if you get this number like 12 there is no integer kind of number like 3 is a 9 4 for the 16 you are not getting 12 right anywhere so but uh, if you get the decimal value and multiply by itself then you'll get 12 that's the reason we have to print out this kind of uh, square root of the given number in double itself not in don't convert that into integer guys it may look good for uh, numbers like 4 and 9 but uh, coming to the numbers like 12 the square root of this 12 will be in decimal values only so better to have this in a double one double type not integer type so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to find the square root of the given number so that's it guys thank you bye